Hey everyone, Jero Lights here, and there are some great places to find Zippo information out there, from Zippo themselves, to books, to websites. In this video, we'll discuss some of the different sources of information out there to help date, and to look at some extremely rare and unique pieces. So make sure you like this video and subscribe. We're on our way to 1,000 subscribers, and once we get there, we have some great giveaways lined up. So stick around, this is Jero Lights. Let's start off with books. There are a good bit of books out there dedicated to the Zippo. I only have a couple books. However, I did receive one recently from a fellow collector who saw one of my previous videos and I mentioned that I didn't have this book. So he sent a copy to me. And this is The Great American Lighter by David Poor. I have been reached out to by a lot of collectors and they have said that this is their Zippo Bible. This is one of the best resources out there for dating Zippos as well as seeing some rare pieces uh, that are out there that might be on the market. This book was published in 1997 by David Poor, and it has a lot of information regarding Zippos from the first models to town and country to war Zippos to mid-90s Zippos. So a lot of great information. I, can't, I haven't had the opportunity to really dive into this and really read. Some collectors have told me that I can spend years in this book and still learn something new every single day. So I'm really excited to, to dive into this book and really read. So this is the Great American Lighter. I did see some copies on eBay for sale. Uh, they may run between $50 to $70, but from what I hear, I'm excited to really dive in, and I do believe there is a volume two as well. Other books include Images of America, Zippo Manufacturing Company, and I have read this book, and I really do like this book because it not only talks about Zippo, but it also talks about the people, uh, and it really gets into the people of Bradford, Pennsylvania, uh, and the different individuals that were involved in the Zippo. So I really do love this book. Uh, it, it really, whereas some books like The Great American Lighter really focuses on the Zippo itself, you get a lot of information about the people who made Zippo. Uh, and the people of Bradford and the things that they did to innovate and to grow Zippo as we know it today. Uh, so that's one thing I really do enjoy uh, seeing about this book here. So uh, this is extremely affordable online. I think I got this book for $15 and they also have a companion Zippo as well. For I think I got that for about $15. So you can get this book and this Zippo probably between $30 to $40. Other good reads uh, that I don't have are And You Thought Zippo Only Made Lighters by Michael Grimaldi, uh, which focuses on everything but the Zippo lighter, all the different other Zippo products uh, that they offer. Other books online, Vietnam Zippos, American Soldiers, Engravings and Stories. I, I've seen people talk about this book, but I haven't read it myself. There's also other literature out there that Zippo may offer. They used to distribute these collector guides. And they have dating information. They have about information. Uh, it's still very knowledgeable. Uh, I've read through these many, many times. Uh, and some great information. And also you get to see some really neat pieces. So here's a timeline. Uh, so that's, I really do love these types of brochures and pamphlets. Used to, when you sent your Zippo into the repair clinic, they would send you back these uh, kind of mini catalogs or these mini brochures and pamphlets. Uh, some information about Zippo as well as dating guides. Pretty, pretty much it's uh, a lot, a lot of that information is in this collector guide as well. So, and then also have some, some catalog items. So they don't do that anymore, but uh, I really, they did this in the late 2000s, 2010, somewhere around there. I don't know when they stopped sending these when you sent your Zippo into repair. And also 
just brochures that you may get at a Zippo Case Museum. So there are several. If I missed any books or anything, let me know in the comments uh, some other good books that there might be. As someone who spends a lot of researching online, there are several websites that are my go-to sources. I won't list all of them, but uh, if you do use a website that I don't mention, go ahead and drop that in the comments below. I'll add it to the description of this video. Also, all the websites that I do list will be in the description below. But some of my go-to websites are glenzippo.uk.co. Zippo.com does have some history and some about information. Thepassionwick.com, moonlightzippo.de, which is a really good place to date uh, your Zippos and to look at that sort of information. Lightergallery.com and navzip.jimdo.com. John Navzip, he is a very famous Zippo collector in the community. He has some amazing pieces, an amazing gallery. Uh, so that is a great place just to see what's out there uh, when it comes to a lot of vintage Zippo, specifically Navy ships. So that's a really great source to, to look at. And also some collectors do have their own personal website where they put a lot of their collection out on there. So if you do know those websites, throw them in the comments below. We'd love to see them. As a modern collector, one of the cons about websites and books is it's usually about the vintage Zippos. There's not a lot of information out there regarding modern day Zippos. And when I say modern, I'm, I'm mainly referring to the 90s to now. Some of these websites do have some great information about early 2000 Zippos and like the Click Club, things like that, collectible of the years, uh, but it's not updated a lot. And I love these new releases and web exclusives that come out. And right now, it's just hard to find that source of information. So one thing I do love to do is look at catalogs. I have several catalogs, but not many. But when I'm trying to find a specific year, I like to go to zippocatalogs.com. And you can pull just about every major catalog from the early 90s to now. You can go to Zippo.com, but they only have several years. Uh, I think they go back maybe three years on those catalogs. For me, the more sources, the better. There can be some conflicting information out there regarding Zippos. And if I have several sources, I personally do a better job at finding the truth and finding what is accurate. Now, however, there are some things that might be conflicting out there. One of the most conflicting debates, in my opinion, is when the first Zippo was made and sold. We all know Zippo was established in 1932, but many sources state that Zippo did not start selling product until 1933. Usually I wanna make a big stink about it, but when you have a product where you are known for dating your product, I think it's extremely important to know when the first Zippo was available to the public. So Zippo.com states that the first Zippo Pocket Lighter was produced in 1933. And this pamphlet here, issued by Zippo, it states, One night in 1933, above a garage in Bradford, Pennsylvania, George Blaisdell pushed the first insert into the first case of what would be the first Zippo lighter. In the Images of America, it says, Produced in 1933, the first Zippo lighters were rectangular in shape. Later in 1933, decorative lines were added to make the lighter more attractive. In David Poor's book, according to Blaisdell grandson, George Duke, who's now owner of Zippo, actually started producing Zippo lighters November 1932, the first month he produced 82 units with sales totaling 69.15. Therefore, he only made Zippo lighters for approximately two months in 1932. According to employees and related sources, Blaisdell was already putting diagonal cuts on the corners towards the end of 1932. So, to me, that's kind of conflicting, kind of confusing. You know, you got a couple of sources saying 1932, other sources saying 1933. Not that it's a big deal, but in a way, I, I kind of like to know. Uh, was it 1932 or was it 1933? I know it's a few months difference, but I mean, come on, I need to know. Like there has to be an old bill of sale or something 
I just want to know the exact year that first Zippo was made and sold. So in this case, I normally want to call out the owner of my favorite company of all time, Mr. George Duke. However, I would love to see some concrete information on when the first Zippo was made and sold. Like, I mean, there has to, you know, I'm sure somewhere, I don't think it's in the museum, but there has to be a bill of sale of that first Zippo sold. But let me know in the comments what your favorite spot to get Zippo information is. If there's any books or websites I didn't cover, throw it in the comments below. This is J. Lights. We'll see you on the next one.